52 is the time now. So, she's only 16 years old, but Nikki Lilly has already interviewed a Prime Minister, one junior bake-off, and gathered an online following of more than a million people, all while living with the challenges of a life-threatening medical condition. She's written a book which she hopes will help other teenagers deal with everything life throws at them. We're going to talk to Nikki shortly, but first take a quick look at her career so far. Hi YouTube, it's Nikki from Nikki Lily. This should be good. And then the rest of this jam, I'm going to put into a little pan with um, a little bit of water. Oh, I like the colour. So, what were you like as a teenager? Oh gosh, now it's... Um, I have to be honest, it's quite a while back that I was a teenager. I just go in with my sponge and tap it in. You must have done some naughty things. Oh, when I was younger, I used to have a, I used to have a big imagination instead of I lied. Anesthesia. Anesthesia. That's a toxic. Anesthetist. Anesthetist. I forgot what anesthetist was, so I was like, anesthesia, lovely. You're doing a great thing. Thank you. You are doing a great thing on YouTube. Thank so, you. Um, and you're, you, you're positive, and you know, I love your makeup tutorial. I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching. Nikki joins us now from North London. Nikki, lovely to see you. How are you doing? Oh, lovely to see you too. I'm doing okay. It's an early start, but um, yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. Nikki, we, I was up, at, my alarm went off at quarter to four this morning, so just feel better. Feel better with oh that. <laughs> it's, been a while, so it's been a while since we've spoken. Um, you've, been up to, you've been up to some interesting stuff. You've written this book, um, and a lot of it born out of... I know, just not feeling great some days and learning to accept the rubbish days and moving on. What made you do that? Exactly. I wanted to write Come On Life, uh, the book, because I, you know, we all have good days and bad days. And especially when you're growing up and you are, you are becoming a teenager, it's even harder to navigate that. And, you know, you have a lot of hard days and you don't really know what to do and I wanted this book to be about how to make the most of the hard days and how to make the most of the highs and lows of your life um, and just knowing that it's okay to have both the good days and the bad days everyone does and I hope this book just helps people my age or older or younger feel less alone on their down days or you know their highs. And uh, now Nikki hello good morning to you one of the things I love about the book is is you you jump between things that on the face fit a little bit trivial and I think you talk a bit about your sister, don't you, and how messy she is <laughs> and how that that's irritating and then you make the leap from those things and they can be genuinely, they can get on your nerves yeah. to things that are, are kind of much more significant and really problematic and you, you sort of go, you, you cross all sorts of territories. Yeah, I really wanted this to be a book that covered every angle of not only my life and the things that I experience or annoys me sometimes, but also, you know, what a teenager worries about or goes through, you know, everything from um, how to deal with if you've got a toxic friendship to how to deal with, I have a whole chapter based around mental health where I really speak quite um, openly about the things I've gone through and what's helped me. And so I didn't want it to be just this really heavy book because I did want it to be an escapism for people um, when they're reading it. But I also wanted to make sure that I was giving good advice and being really open about, you know, my story and the things I've been through because I wanted people to read it. And just, I think even though we, when we're growing up, we know that we're not alone. We can often feel like that and like no one understands. And I really wanted to make sure that I spoke really openly about the things that I've gone through so other people feel like so, oh, someone else feels the same way that I do. And so I think it was really important for me to get the balance of, you know, being really lighthearted, but also making sure that I went in depth on topics like mental health or, you know, dealing with issues in your family or other things like that. Nikki, you're back at um, college now, aren't you? Back in sixth form. Yeah. How's it going? Because we're hearing so much about, you know, students and the different experience they're having compared to what you might have expected a year ago. How are you dealing with it? It's not been too bad. Um, yeah, I started sixth form, which is so strange. And 
obviously, you know, it's very different in the sense that there's a lot of safety measures put into place. Um, but I'm personally just glad to be back at school and having a bit more of a routine because that's what I really struggled with when there was, you know, lockdown and isolation is that you can't really have a routine because you're not going anywhere. You're not really doing much. And so, um, that's what I've appreciated about school is that, you know, five days a week I can wake up at a certain time and just go to school and do stuff. And I'm also able to see my friends. So it's not been too bad. It's just very strange because obviously um, at my school we're wearing masks and um, we have this one way system and things like that. But I'm also glad to, um, you know, be in sick form and be able to just do three subjects. And it's like non school uniform day every day. So um, for me, it's not been too bad. It could have definitely been worse. Nikki, you've say, faced some extraordinary challenges that people will be well aware of in, in your life. But sometimes little things can be the, the catalyst, can't they, for having a really bad day? You, 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 you probably know about that stuff. I don't know, something that, on the face of it, doesn't seem that big a deal can sometimes, you know, put you over the edge. No, definitely. I also think that a lot of the time when we're struggling with things um, mentally, you know, they can build up and build up and build up, especially if we don't speak to anyone about them. And that is one of the biggest pieces of advice that I'd give you if you're struggling mentally is to speak to someone I as hard as it is it's so important to speak to someone you trust because exactly that it will just the feelings that you have and the things that you're thinking will just keep building and one day you know there will just be that little thing that normally um wouldn't bother you or shouldn't bother you and that can just be the thing that puts you over the edge and just makes you feel really really rubbish and so I think it's super important that's also what I talk about in the book is um it's so important to talk to someone or you know find an outlet um to be able to um express how you feel so that those feelings don't build up it is very wise advice, Nikki, and uh, I hesitate to say it, but 16 years old, you speak with a lot of wisdom, if I may say. So lovely chatting to you again this morning. You stay well. Look after yourself, Nikki. Thank you. Do you know what? It, that book, when you jump around from subject to subject, you think, I was, thinking, I was just thinking about that, I was thinking, oh, it's something you do when you're younger. It never changes. <laughs> it never changes. You're always, your head's always jumping around. So I quite like the way that she, that reflects, her life reflects that in the book. Yeah. Uh, headlines are coming up. We'll see you shortly. What makes World Service so unique is its genuine world perspective.